Welcome back to Kingdom Rock. Today or yesterday, it doesn't really matter. However, quite recently, Call of Duty released the gotcha, the two-layer gotcha event. Except this time, it's not them getting us, it's us getting them. Let me explain. The way this board works is you have an outer ring and an inner ring. In order to access the inner ring, you must get the key on the outer ring. On the outer ring, there are seven different things you can get. You can only get those things once. Every time you get a key, the outside resets. So you could buy one and get a chance at it, or you could buy all seven and get it for pretty cheap, by the way. Now, I have looked, and the first seven is going to cost 126 The second is going to cost like 184 The third is going to cost like two something. So in either way, if you spend $10 on the game, you'll be able to do three draws. Why is this important? Well, if we take a look at the rewards, we can see the chances. Now, this might not seem like much to you. However, noted that the first two cost 120 and 180 for a 4% chance at a legendary. That's already the highest you're going to get for such a cheap price. Not to mention, you can do this thing three times. Meaning, once you get the soldier in this uh, sky calling card and the... Uh, charm because that's all you're going to get for the first two if you get lucky let me know but you're not going to get the legendary on the first two if you do let me know but that's crazy however once you get those out the way let's see there are six things left one for a 6.57 a 5.50 a 4.6 and a 4 that means you have a higher chance of getting a legendary gun than a character in an epic gun so this is hands down going to be your best chance. Now, if we were to factor this, we can multiply this by about times five. So the MAC-10 would have about a 20% chance of dropping. Then, of course, Shadowfall would have about uh, maybe 22% chance in the Hodge. Anyway, on that third spin, you will have a 20% chance of pulling the MAC-10, a legendary gun. Now, you could be heartbroken and get something else, but it's it's less than $10 for a 20% chance at a legendary weapon. This is going to be huge for first-time legendaries. Now, after the 200, it automatically jumps up to 1,100. So if you happen to do three of them and you get rid of the RPD, you'll have the Hachi and the, the two characters along with the two guns. However, then your chances drop or jump dramatically again. But three is where you want to stick. Go ahead and get $10 on the game and put it into here. This is going to be your best chance at a legendary weapon.